our market panel. Kevin Kerr is the editor of Resource Trader Alert at DailyReckoning.com. He's a pretty good thing to do, so there's nothing wrong with that. Kevin, take us out of here. Tomorrow morning, commodities, what are you going to do? I'm going to do Kevin, it tonight. you've got some forecasts of oil. You may have one of gold. I want to hear what your numbers are and whether that's an outgrowth of this conflagration in the Middle East or whether it's more fundamental in nature. Well, Larry, I definitely did not predict that all of these things would be going on, and certainly not at once. I mean, it's been an incredible news week, let alone uh, what's been going on prior to all this. Uh, we're looking at oil right now is, is approaching $80 a barrel, and that could happen as soon as, well, you know, any, any time now. Uh, we're, we're reaching technical levels now we, there's no resistance to until probably we reach the $80 level. And beyond that, if this continues to escalate, like you said, with Syria and Iran, and now I've, I've been reading reports that supposedly Hezbollah moved some of these kidnapped soldiers to Iran. I don't know if that's been confirmed or not, but it seems to be escalating. And of course, it's just going to add more risk premium and more fear to the market. All right, so you're basically, Kevin, you're looking at it. And the question before the House now is, is a strong economy with some increases in uh, worker wages and pay, is that going to create inflation nation, to use your term from your most recent article, that's going to drive gold even sky higher? Well, I don't want to be the fear monger in the, uh, the commodities guy here, but yeah, I mean, gold is reflecting the fear of inflation. And, you know, we have to bring it all back to the energy markets. I mean, bottom line, and I'm sure Mr. Zoller can you know, attest to this, the energy markets are, are absolutely a driver of the economy right now, and until we figure out a situation that's going to help remedy, do you stay with the commodity play? Absolutely, and not just based on inflation. It's on a lot of things. It's 700 next, and then beyond that, we forget about if we have a bride is a recent citizen. She has recently become a United States citizen. That's correct. She's from Estonia, and she just got her green card. We went through the whole process. Actually, I have to admit, my first wife also from Spain. So I'm importing immigrants to the country. Well, this is terrific. You're an internationalist, but I mean, what's your American? And it's great. <laughs> well, well, Larry, this is going to be a very personal show. Yeah. Well, I, I like it. It's my anniversary <laughs> Sunday, so if I'm You're not nice, I'll be in wedding trouble. Rings and well, this is good. Diane's going to sell you a wedding ring at <laughs> right? the uh, current price of gold. How high is gold? I'll buy it, too, how Diane. Oh, wait, my go, birthday's Kevin. tomorrow. I'll just give it to you. <laughs> I'll tell you, Larry, you know, my comment on that is the process, you know, I, first of all, I want to say I worked in the World Trade Center. I worked there, you know, in 93 for the bombing. Uh, the exchanges used to be in the building, and I'm very cognizant of security, you know, on our borders. Sealing the borders, to me, seems extreme. Uh, there's got to be some middle ground, and having gone through the immigration process now twice, I can tell you that it's cumbersome, it's difficult, and for people that are trying to do the right thing, even if you have the, the means and the time, it's difficult.